In this video, I'm gonna show you how to handle file uploads without writing any backend code. And oh yeah, did I mention, we'll also talk about validation and spam protection. Again, no code, let's take a look. What's up everyone, my name is James Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. And in this one, we're talking about handling file uploads without any server code. So let's think about a scenario for you. Let's say you want to build an app and let's say you want users to be able to upload an image of some sort, um, an image of their avatar, an image for an invoice or a contract or whatever it is. Well, you'd have to build out an entire backend to do that. I'm a JavaScript developer. That means I would probably build out a Node.js backend if I was doing that, or maybe handle file uploads and API endpoints and Next.js, whatever the case may be. But that's a lot of work that you have to do. You have to handle the incoming file. You have to validate that incoming file. You have to upload that file somewhere to store it in an S3 bucket or Cloudinary or something like that. So there's lots of stuff that you have to do in addition to thinking about spam protection. What if someone is spamming your forms? What sort of logic do you have to put into place to help protect yourself and your backend? So as you can probably imagine, just the idea of handling a basic file upload actually gets a lot more complicated once you get into it. So instead of doing that all by yourself, I'm gonna show you how you can use today's sponsor, which is Quez Forms, to do all that stuff with basically no code at all. So if you wanna follow along and set up Quez Forms in any of your apps, I've got a link below with a coupon code that will give you 50% off a year plan on Quez Forms. And did I mention you can start for free anyway? So I wanted to make this demo fun. I wanted to make it interactive. I wanted you to have fun with it as well. And one of the things that I've been doing on Twitter is posting random freeze frames of me in my videos that look really awkward and funny and letting people caption them, make captions and memes out of them. So I wanted to tie Quez Forms into a fun demo. And what I'm gonna do is allow you to submit your meme that you create of me from freeze frames. And then I will pick a winner and give a lifetime subscription to Dev Dojo. You can learn more about Dev Dojo dojo in the link below in the description. So you can jump ahead and go to that if you want to. It's at jqqmemes.com powered by Quez Forms, or you can stick around through the video and see how we put it all together. All right, so let's take a look at what we're looking at here. Uh, this is a, a competition called Caption This, and I have been doing um, Caption This posts on Twitter for a while at James Q Quick, and I post like a random freeze frame of me from a video and let other people kind of have fun with it like this one of me playing the accordion. So this is the website where I want to uh, do a competition for you to submit uh, your favorite memes of me, and then uh, I'll choose a couple of winners by August 10th. And this is at jqqmemes.com. Now I wanna give a shout out. This uh, this design was actually done by Self Teach Me, Amy Dutton, who's the co-host of the Compressed FM podcast. So you can check out the source code. We'll have a link to that in the description. Uh, but make sure to give uh, Amy Self Teach Me on Twitter and uh, Twitch and a few different places. Make sure to give her a shout out for the design as well. So I've got this code checked out. What we're going to do is go ahead and update what is just a basic form, uh, implement Quez Forms, and then go from there. All right, so I'm going to go into uh, QuezForms.com, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a new site. So this is going to be JQQ uh, Memes. And then on the site, we need a form, as you can imagine. So this will be the meme form. And this uh, goes ahead and enables spam filters. Now, this is one of the really key things about Quez Forms is that it does the filtering on spam so that you don't have to think about it. It's really sweet. This is actually one of the biggest benefits of using Quez Forms, in my opinion. So we'll do that. And then it's going to walk us through how to set this up. So uh, since we're using this is a Next.js project, we're going to install this as a dependency. So npm install Quez Forms. After we have that installed, we're gonna want to uh, import Quez Forms. So we'll paste that in here into an import. And the last thing we'll need to do is uh, initialize this. So it's gonna look at the page uh, using some tags that we'll add in a second, and it's gonna determine what kind of form we're actually trying to submit. So I'm gonna paste in a little snippet here. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna use a use effect hook in React to call the quezforms.init. This will make sure that it's only run on the client side so that it has access to the DOM, which is what quezforms is looking for in our form. All right, so we've got that installed. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this again. And while that's running, we can go to the next step. So we'll do next here. And it says, hey, on your uh, form, go ahead and add a class of quezform. So let's go into our form. Let's see, do we have a, 
error here. I think, uh, did we, yeah, we should add a class name of Quez form since we're in React instead of Quez. So this will let Quez know as it goes and looks at our DOM, uh, what form it will, we, we're going to be working with to submit to Quez forms, which is really neat. After we do that, we're going to need to define an action. Now this action is basically going to be the unique endpoint where this form is going to submit to. Now we didn't have to create this just by creating the registering the website and the form with Quez, it gives us this URL. So we can just use this directly. So we've got that. Uh, now we can go on to the next step. And in here it says uh, basically just to create a regular form with labels and inputs. And you can see we've got a uh, name, email, and the actual meme. So we've got uh, those things covered for form. And then one of the things that we can do is add little validation rules uh, with these uh, little tags in HTML. So if I wanted to make sure that the name is required and it's uh, max is 255 characters, it's less than 255 characters, uh, Quez will actually do the validation of this on the front end and the back end. So we'll see if we come inside of here that if I uh, type into the name and then tab away, it's gonna give me a little error message to say, hey, this thing is required. Now, in case we didn't want to uh, to see this, we could actually turn off that message. So what we could do is go into the form and say no error message. And then uh, we'll need to set that to a string of true. So what this should do is let's refresh this. It should hide that red one from popping up. So if we uh, enter nothing, we have this little small one down here, which we could style ourselves, uh, but it's not distracting us from the from the top part. So we can get rid of that ourselves by using that little tag. Link below to the documentation for that if you need to check it. So the validation uh, is pretty sweet. Now, another thing that we could do on the email is add a rules of email. Now this thing, obviously, as you would probably expect, will validate, uh, if I type in a name, that this is a valid email. So if I tab away, this is really small because we've got some styling, but it says this is not a valid email versus uh, this is a valid email. Now that message goes away, pretty sweet. So after we've got this set up, it says, hey, send your first submission to connect this domain. So we wanna connect the domain that we're on, which right now is testing, to our Quez uh, Forms form that's registered in Quez. Quez Forms form, that's kind of fun to say. So back in here, if we actually go to the next step, uh, it says it's waiting on the first submission. So let's go back to this. Um, I can submit this information. I could choose a file. This will be you submitting a meme of me. Have fun, be nice though. Um, I'm just gonna choose a random image. This is a YouTube video cover image. Shout out to that video, you should go and find it. And I'll submit this and then uh, what it will say is, hey, you've, uh, you've connected this thing, you've sent your first submission and then we can set this up as a test domain. We don't want this deployed yet. And then we can go back to the form, we'll take us back to our page. If we then go back to the documentation, it says, hey, this thing got submitted, cool. Let's go to view our submissions. Hey, there's a submission and hey, that includes our uh, JPEG, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so let's go, let's go back into, actually we wanna stay where we were, but inside of my email, I've been doing a lot of testing. I'm just gonna stay on this uh, page because I don't want you to see all the rest of my email stuff. But I'll show you that I got a new message down here at 2.12 p.m., give you an idea of what time it is. And then this includes a link to the image. So I could click on this and go directly to the image. Notice this is saved in an S3 bucket in AWS, pretty neat. Now that works well, but one of the other things we can do is if we go into our meme form, we can check our email settings and our notification email. And inside of here, inside of the details, notice that it uh, does kind of like variable interpolation for the different fields of our form. So Quez Forms looks at the name of our input elements in the HTML and then creates us these little variables so that we could reference them inside of that notification email that goes out. One of which includes the actual meme, which is where we get the link to the file. Now, if we wanted, we can also send the file upload as an attachment in the email. Uh, that way it's right there, I could download it. I don't have to open a link to go and get it. Now, keep in mind, this has a size limit of, has to be below seven megabytes. Seven, seven megabytes is a pretty big uh, image if you're working with images. Uh, anyway, so let's go and run this again. So we'll do uh, name of James, and then I'll do my email in here. We'll choose another file. And really the only thing we wanna see here, the difference is gonna be when we submit this and we get uh, this incoming email, we should see that that thing is attached as an attachment. Is that redundant? It's included as an attachment. So let's refresh our email. Let's scroll all the way down to uh, the bottom. I just got the notification of the email on my phone. 
And here you can see the attachment is right there. I can uh, go and download this immediately, which is pretty neat. Now, a couple of other things I wanna show you on this file upload stuff is we can add more to our, let's make sure I get the right uh, document page, uh, more to our validation. So we haven't used any validation rules on this file yet. So we can start with uh, validation uh, uh, rules of, rules of, file, we can more specifically uh, make sure this is an image. So if we use the image rule, what this is going to do, maybe I'll zoom in a bit for you to see this, is if we click on this detail, it's going to make sure that uh, this type is of JPEG, PNG, BMP, GIF, SVG. So it's going to make sure that it's a file that fits an image uh, extension. So we use this image here, and then we can also make sure that this is required. So we want to require that something's there and it is of type image. So let's refresh on this form. I'm gonna to go to choose a file, and if I choose an MP3 of some, I don't even know what that is, it should give me a little message that says, hey, this must be a, an image. Now, I, could, I need to go and do some styling on these error messages to make sure that they're more visible, but this is actually gonna catch that error. So if I come back and instead do an image, uh, that validation should be working, that message should go away after I tab away, and then I can go and submit my thing uh, as much as I want. So that is the image validation rule as well as the required validation rule. And there's a couple others that are really useful. So you could define your MIME type. So if you wanted to check the actual type of the file, you could check the sizes. So a minimum size, maximum size, and a between uh, minimum and maximum. So really good validation rules on here. These are actually really handy because they happen on the front end and the back end, which is really powerful. And I have had to do some validation on sizes manually myself to make sure I'm not uploading an image too big. And it's a little tedious, like you have to do some work to be able to check that stuff. So it's really nice that you can just add a couple of tags in here with to do validation for you so that you don't have to. All right, so that is the caption this competition uh, with a form that is powered by Quest Forms for you to do uh, uploads of your favorite memes of me. So you can check that out in the link below. It's at jqqmemes.com. It'll be ready for you to participate through August 10th. So make sure to go and check it out. And shout out to Quez Forms for powering this form. And then Amy Dutton, which is self or who is self teach me on Twitter and Twitch and those sort of things for the design work. So hopefully that helped you understand how you can start handling form submissions and specifically file uploads really, really quickly and easily handling the upload process, spam protection, validation, all those things with Quez Forms. So if you wanna give it a shot, there's a free tier. And if you happen to go beyond the free tier, there's the coupon code below to get you 50% off of your first year subscription to Quez Forms. Now, make sure to submit your meme at jqqmemes.com. Competition will be running from two weeks from when this video is posted. So make sure you get those in and hint, hint, We'll be doing more with these memes in the future. So make, su make sure to keep an eye out with this in upcoming videos. Thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you next time.